Tasking Kestrel, Bearing Tool, another tool from Roro, Boca Bearing Pliers, some tweezers, and of course, what you guys all been waiting for, some Roro Bearings, that's right. This one is for the Casking Kestrel Elite BFS Reel. We have the 834 for the spool, and we got 733 on the side plate. Let's swap these and let's go fishing. So folks, if you guys haven't watched my other video, I have already did a video fishing this upgraded reel to the SDS Customs. They're full ceramic micro bearings. Here's one right there, and here's the other one right here. Looks pretty cool white. But man, they were very, very noisy. So yeah, let's swap to these Roro bearings. And these are a little bit different. Let me show you guys very quick. So um, yeah, the SDS ones are full ceramic. And these right here from Roro, they are ceramic hybrids. Here we are. We have uh, ceramic bearings, but the sleeves are stainless steel. And uh, for this guy here that has a sleeve, I believe the sleeve is aluminum. But uh, yeah, man. These stuff should spin very, very good. Listen to this. Oh yeah. This thing is going. Still going. Wait a sec. It's still going. All right, all right. This this gotta be some good, good, good bearing. All right, um, yeah. Check out the O-ring on this. That's pretty cool. Reminds me of the new out bearing uh, BFS where it have the O-ring on theirs too. And uh, what this does is it keeps your bearing from shaking, which I feel like it's, uh, it's amazing. It keeps your real quiet. And um, you know, small little vibrations of the spool when it's you know, casting very fast, I feel that that may slow down your spool, okay? That's just my opinion. So yeah, let's put this baddie on and uh, let's go fishing. What I wanna do is I wanna put the the O-ring facing closer to the side of the reel. So let's put this guy in. Come on, get in there. Oh, there it goes. Oh yeah, spinning very, very good. All right, so this one's installed. This one's a little bit more hectic. You guys have to get the pin out from right there. I like to suggest everyone to put this actually in a bag and work in a bag because this thing has flown off before, flown off on me two times already. So, um. Yeah, be very, very careful. In fact, I'm gonna do this off the video because like I said, I'm gonna put it right in a bag and I'll try to get this pin off and swap the bearings and you'll see me return once I finish installing everything together and let's go fishing in the water. All right, all right. Good morning, good morning. Now that we got the upgraded bearings, let's cast some light lures. I'm gonna start off with the b vibe from Euro Tackle. This is a two inch swim bait and a 132nd ounce VMC Moon Eye jig, okay? So uh, yeah, let's see how this thing goes. Of course, I'm gonna start with zero breaks. I found it pretty quick because uh, <laughs> it was going out fast. I got a little scared. So let me redo this cast. <laughs> yeah, Jimbo gets scared, man. I got fresh line on this Destron from Casking. New stuff. And um, yeah, it's a uh, fin. So it's uh, very interesting. It feels beautiful. I mean, look at the colors. It's, it's nice. but. Uh, in regards to that cast right there, well, other than picking up some weeds from the weed line, it came out pretty pretty easy. Oh, there's my backlash. That's what I'm talking about. We got some backlash now. Woot woot. <laughs> so yeah, this thing is uh, going out a lot easier than the uh, full ceramic hybrid bearings, which is interesting. And it's quiet, right? Listen to it one more time. Definitely a lot better and wow, look, I'm backlashing. All right, all right. Oh, oh, got it. Oh, I had a fish. I had a fish. So I'm going to turn the brakes on just a little bit because this is a light lure. And um, yeah, I think uh, with this, bear the bearings here, it's going to be fun. Now, distance wise with this, not super far, but I think it's um, ac acceptable. Here, let me just click one back down. Yeah, it's, it's not bad for a 132nd ounce and a small plastic. Yeah, I'm getting nips. I think, um, yeah, this, this is not bad. Especially if you guys are using like a, a short rod and do some stream trout fishing. Oh, look at that. The fish swam all the way up. <laughs> right until I lift um, the lure out of the water. So yeah, there's, there's some fish here. So hopefully we'll hook up soon and see how things, oh, that's a bite right there. 
There it is. Oh, oh, come on. Got him. First fish of the morning. Let's go. I think it might be a nice bass. Oh, looks like a bass. All right, dude. Oh, uh, yeah. I like longer rods for this reason. Put you on this side. Come on. Look at that. It's warm. All right, first fish of the morning. Look at that. You're a taco bee vibe. Let's go, dude. Let's go. All right, off you go. A little bit overspool right before the water. I did tap it, so it's not too bad. I guess what I'll do is I'm just gonna comb water just like what I usually do. It's funny, I'm not detecting how deep the water is. In fact, I wanna actually see how deep this is. I know the substrate down here is pretty soft. Um, it's approximately three inches past my paddle. So it's, you know, it should be deep enough to detect the bottom. I might have to clean the bottom of my kayak where my uh, transducer is at. When it's full of mud and uh, gunk sometimes it just won't detect oh. there's some fishy in here but yeah it's it's shallow I'm gonna go out a little bit further and uh, see how things are I might even put on uh, the Z-Man stuff because the Z-Man stuff it sinks a little slower so uh, fishing some of these shallow waters it makes things a lot easier but I want to start with the you know, the slimmer, small profile, because it's a little lighter. And, oh, here's a fish. No, it's not. <laughs> and also, I want to throw the trout magnet at least once, so I'll probably save the trout magnet for maybe under the bridge, because when the sun comes up a little later, and uh, it's going to put all the fish under the bridge, and there's, like, hours and hours of fun underneath the bridge for crappies. Here we go. Here we go. Whoa, 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 easy. Woo! Aye. Come on, come on, dude. There we go. Got another bass. I'm here for the crappies though, but uh, thanks for the fight. All right, folks, I am uh, in the middle of the lake right now. I see a lot of bait fish jumping, as you see. So I decided to switch over to heavier stuff. Well, not too heavy, because I'm BFS fishing and I'm still using a short ultralight rod, right? But I do have a light tackle rod in the back, the Surinoya Dragon, which I'll switch on later. But uh, I changed to a 1 16th ounce jig head and I got a swim bait because well, as you see, I was throwing swim baits earlier, which uh, they're just biting off tails. So I want to put on this Shad Fries from Z-Man and uh, with 1 16th ounce jig, zeal breaks. Yeah, I did put it back on zeal breaks to see if it, you know, over spools. But for something like this heavy, it's not over spooling, so it's, it's pretty cool. And uh, yeah, I think these Michael Bearings have made this reel a lot better. Like if I were to compare the bearings between the full ceramic ones this one's better because first and foremost it's quiet and it's not gonna annoy the crap out of my viewers i realized that um you know when i'm fishing casting my reel is right next to the mic which is why everyone's like oh it sounds horrible and stuff and it's loud and uh, with the post-production editing right it sounds even worse <laughs> so uh yeah i'm gonna stick with the uh bearings from here the row rows and uh yeah we'll see 
how thing goes, but I, I am loving it. I am loving the robo bearings. It's casting so much easier. And um, yeah, let's see if we catch some fish, but casting wise, this reel right here feels so much better with it. Must get, must get. They, they are at the Bait Finesse Empires if you guys are in the US or you guys can order it directly from robolure.com. All right, let's just count the number of cranks with this bait here. Once again, it's 1 16th ounce jig head and the shad fries, zero breaks on this ultralight rod. Just a little bit over spool at the end because I didn't um, thumb in time. But let's just count it from here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, Got fish. Whoa, look at that. That's a very small little yellow perch. Hey, look at that. Small guy with a big appetite. Off you go. All right guys, the next lure I'll throw is the Z-Viber. Euro Tackle 1 16th ounce. Ooh, it actually went pretty far. And it went out pretty easy. This is 1 16th ounce. Woo. Imagine if I throw the one gram, because everyone loves to throw that one gram trout magnet, right? Oh yeah, look at this. Oh yeah, oops, a little bit over spool. Didn't thumb it right on time. But yeah, zero breaks casting this is not bad. Not bad. Let's jack it up just a little bit. Let's put one, two, three. Four. Let's put this at break two and see how it goes. All right, so if I put the brakes on, yeah, definitely you feel the over break. The over break kicks in. And I feel like it goes a little bit to the left. Well, the wind is blowing me, so hold up. Try one more time. All right, it's, it's relatively accurate. The left was just from the wind. But yeah, this, this is not too bad. I'm gonna put it to one break for a second. But yeah, I've been casting this at zero breaks, but now there's a little wind. I wanna play around with the brakes for a little bit. But yeah, I can't wait to uh, see what cast can say about the braking. Maybe they could change it up a little bit for us, or you know, I might have to do my own modification, but casting this 1 16th ounce Z-Viber, it, it works, you know? It's robo bearings, man, woo. People find this reel very, very fun to throw. So yeah, I think uh, this upgrade is pleasant. You know, I know I keep complaining about the over braking, but if you think about it, with the micro bearings, it's coming out easier. And with the strong brakes, it, I haven't really been experiencing all those crazy backlashes compared to some of my other reels. All right, here it is. The famous or infamous trout magnet test. The one gram test, all right. <laughs> Let's adjust the camera. Let's put this thing at zero breaks and... All right, I have some overspool. Ooh, wow. Overspool, okay. Try one more time. Yep, overspooling. So it is coming out pretty quick with the new roll bearings. So we're gonna have to use the brakes. Three clicks, all right, so I guess it's gonna be what, one and a half? Into the wind, got some backlash. Okay, well, let me turn my kayak for a second and uh, let's go with the wind. I think the wind is definitely gonna impact my casting given that this lure is super light. So I'd rather cast with the wind rather than against the wind, which kind of is cheating, but you know, that's the card I'm dealt with today. And casting soft, not too bad. All right, once I stabilize the kayak, we're gonna reel it in and count the number of cranks with uh, three clicks of brakes. All right, stabilize, let's go. Accuracy is there, count the number of cranks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Almost 15, okay, so let's say 14.75. And it's three clicks. Let's go back to zero breaks for a second. And uh, let's try again. 
Alright, I thumbed it really well without the wind. I'm not backlashing, but it is coming out fast, so I do recommend you know using some of the brakes. So let's do some cranking. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, uh, uh, 15 and a half. That is uh, impressive. Very impressive. Distance wise for creek fishing, stream fishing using trout magnet, one gram. I think this uh, this is pretty good. Pretty good. All right, the next lure I'll throw is the Euro Tackle Z Spender. This is their 1 8 ounce jerk bait. And I think it's closer to three grams, especially after I changed out the hooks. And uh, with zero breaks, that's not too bad. And we are casting into the wind. And uh, yeah. If you guys have watched my other video, I've said this before, you know, casting jerk baits is probably one of the toughest thing to do, especially these small little jerk baits on bait casters, because you can see that it's twirling out, casting out because of all the uh, wind it catches. And yeah, usually don't do too well. And uh, I don't cast super far with it either. And um, you know, I, it is what it is, but, oh, there's the first backlash. I was gonna say, you know, casting has been pretty good, but I cast that one pretty hard, so it's my fault. But yeah, so far, casting this is it's not too bad. Yeah, it's not, it's not too bad at all. And if you guys are wondering how far that went, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, and probably like 25 and a half cranks. So you guys do the math, 29.1 inches per turn, right? All right, folks, I swapped off to a different rod. Right now I'm using a Swinger Dragon. This is a C702L, seven foot. This is a light tackle rod with a also moderate bend. And this is my favorite rod for just about everything. Uh, I like to throw a lot of, you know, small jigs. And the jigs I typically throw are, you know, 1 16th ounce jig head. And I tip it with a plastic and it weighs somewhere from two point seven to you know three grams right and uh yeah given that it has a nice moderate bend it's perfect for crappy fishing that's just what i like and if you guys like to throw like small stuff with treble hooks or if you're like me uh swapping things to uh single hooks it's still great you know um now it's not like a glass rod where it's like super um moderate bend where you can't do hook sets on you know some texas rigged stuff but uh you know with the bfs stuff with the thinner wire texas rig hooks you guys can still set the hook using that so yeah this is my favorite all-rounder you guys can get this at bait finesse empires or you know surinoya uh aliexpress page so the reason why i swapped off to this rod is i want to do basically uh two rods in one video for this upgraded reel with the roll bearings uh so i don't need to make a second video you guys can see you know, all the casting impression within just one video of the upgraded reel. So anyways, uh, we still have the Z spender on and we're casting it with the wind a little bit and I am at zero breaks and that is pretty far. So let's count the number of cranks for a second. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31 and a half. 31 and a half cranks uh, with the rod. So yeah, it's pretty impressive. What do you guys think? All right, so I think the last door I'm gonna throw for now because uh, the bite is not that great and um, yeah, what I'll just do is throw my bread and butter and just search late for some crappies because I love crappy fishing. 1 16th ounce jig head and the shad fries. Bread and butter. 1 16th ounce jig head plus a plastic. Man, that's my favorite way to BFS fish. So casting is not too bad. And once again, I am at zero breaks. I'm casting into the wind a little bit. But what I'll do is uh, I'm just gonna reel up and uh, do a nice cast, probably like, you know, halfway in between with the wind and without the wind. That is pretty darn far. Let's count this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34. 34 cranks. That is pretty good, man. Oh, got fish. Oh, yeah. Could you be that crappy I'm looking for? Open water crappy. Let's go. 
Let's go. Yes. Yes. Took a while to find you. Uh oh, hit my rudder. Not my rudder, my, uh, my thing. Wow, that is a Mondo. Woo. Yeah, yeah, good morning. How do you do? Wow, that's what I'm talking about guys, crappy fishing. Oh look guys, Z-Man lost another tail. Interesting, right? Well, I did catch this for a while, but I didn't catch a lot of fish today. A lot of nips, too many nips to be quite honest. I think uh, with the storm that did roll through last night, man, the bite's been very, very tough. All right, folks, let's wrap up today's fishing session with the upgraded Cast King Castro Elite BFS Rio with the Roro Ceramic Hybrid Micro Bearings. Woo. Jeez, that's a very, very long uh, sentence to say. But uh, yeah, these micro bearings are amazing. It's better than my last video where I fished with the SDS full ceramic micro bearings. Uh, one, obviously it's quieter, right? I don't mind the casting part of the full ceramic. Uh, it's pretty loud, but uh, I know a lot of people don't like it because when I cast it, right, it's pretty much right next to my GoPro and with post-production audio edits and uh, it sounds a little nasty. Uh, also, what I don't like most is when I'm reeling up uh, the full ceramic bearings, it's just loud, you know, it's very loud. I don't like it because the casting, it, it sounds it sounds crazy. Anyway, the robo bearings, I feel like it performed a lot better. You know, it's quiet and it comes out very, very smooth. And um, it made this Kestrel Elite BFS Real so much better. I, I'm loving it. And um, yeah, I think everyone should get this if you guys are into throwing light lures. And uh, even the heavier lures, it, it was a lot better. Uh, I put it on the light rod. I was throwing my typical, you know, my go-to 1 16th ounce jig head plus a soft plastic. And I was getting out there pretty easily, right? Uh, distance are great. And yeah, it's, it's a lot more enjoyable. And then on the ultralight side, casting a trout magnet, the distance is pretty good too. I, I felt like it's, uh, it was pretty accurate, even with the wind. And if I was fishing in a stream uh, setting, I think uh, it'll be perfect for trout fishing. So during the fall, I'll definitely take this reel out more and uh, hopefully I do have the opportunity to fish for some stream trout, some stock trout. Uh, I like to throw a lot of light lures, you know, 1 16th ounce, 1 32nd ounce hair jigs. Those are perfect for me and with this upgraded reel, I think it's gonna be a perfect, perfect way to go catch some trout. Anyway, uh, if you guys have enjoyed this video, please smash the like button. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave me a comment below. I left a lot of details in the description for where you guys can find the stuff I used today. And don't forget, you guys get the roll roll bearings at Bait Finesse Empires if you guys are in the US or you guys get it directly from Roro at rorolore.com. I thank you guys for watching the Fish Don't Wait. You guys have the Kestrel Elite. Make sure you guys get these bearings and go slay.